Welcome from the home of the New York Mets, City Field in Queens. A great night for baseball ahead on the show. It's the San Diego Padres going up against the New York Mets. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. And here comes Sander Bogarts. Next offering is in for a strike. On the ground to short. Lindor on the first. Bogarts retired. So digging in, Jake Cronenworth. Jake Cronenworth. Fights that one away, still one and two. In May of 2021, Max Scherzer threw a complete game as his wife went into labor with their third child. Game finished two hours, 37 minutes. Scherzer left Nationals Park, made it to the hospital just in time for the birth of his daughter. She was born four and a half hours after he threw the first pitch of the game. Sets him down looking. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Now the youngster Juan Soto. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Scherzer winds, kicks, fires. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Blew the express right by his bat for strike three. Here's Starling Marte. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. And one and two. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris. And it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit, you know, both sides. Got him. And one gone. Here's Luis Guillorme. Two for four in the game last night. Ball to strike. The pitch. Swing and he breaks his bat. Darvish snags it for the second out. The second base. The one two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. Back here in Queens. Second inning set to go. Here's Manny Machado. Manny Machado. So here's Scherzer. Singing Max Scherzer has a condition called heterochromia. Do you know what that is? Well, I know what it is because of Max Scherzer, and it's when your eyes are two different colors and something pretty interesting. We've seen it with dogs and you know individuals, but not a whole lot of humans. And Max Scherzer, one of those with it. Now it's Matt Carpenter. Yeah, left eye is brown, right eye is blue. He calls his left eye his baseball eye. Dusty Baker found out when he asked Max which eye he should look at when he's talking to him. No, I think that's kind of funny. Scherzer deals. You know, with the shift on, hits right into it. McNeil gets it to first. Two up, two down at the top of the second. So two down now, and here is Nelson Cruz. And the righty deals. So a foul ball makes it one and two. One other note, the Scherzer family adopted dogs with that same eye condition that Max has. Next offering down low and in the dirt. Check swing, tried to hold up, now an appeal to first. And he couldn't hold back, he's rung up on strikes. Oh, 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 
And welcome back. Bottom Three half of inning four. number two. And the stepping in for New York, Pete Alonso. Alonso. Left field. Soto gets under it. And makes the grab. And there's one away. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. One down, base is empty. Up the middle. On the run, sends it over to first. Already two out here in the home half of inning number two. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Nothing, nothing here in the bottom of the second. That's in there. And the count one and two. And that one almost got him. Next one misses. And now three and two. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. Got him. Breaking ball clips the outside edge. Yeah. Who that in the whip? Back here at City Field. The batter now is Adam Engel. The center field. Adam Engel. The why to kick the pitch. And a strike in there. And downstairs. Ooh, I thought he'd bite right there. Got it by him for the K. And now it's Austin Nola. No hits of the shutout yesterday afternoon. And a count one and two. The wind of the pitch. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Scherzer ahead one and two. Check swing, no appeal. And that's the strikeout looking. Called strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Stepping in for San Diego, Ha Sung Kim. The pitch. Fights it off, he'll see another. The one two. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. Narvaez has room and he makes the catch and that'll do it. Bottom of the inning and here is Brett Beatty. And the pitch. That one drifts inside. Two one pitches in there, and the count is even. Righty delivers. Way inside, gets out of the way. He goes down looking. Here's Mark Canna. And a pitch. And yeah, that's a little high. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then 
By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Goes down, swinging for the strikeout. Snuck the fastball by him. Omar Narvaez at the plate. The wind of the pitch. And there's ball four. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I tell you what, he earned that wall. Starling Marte up to hit. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. The next three. offering misses. And that's ball three. Three balls, one strike. Late swing, fouled off. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Line drive, base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, patience and discipline paid off right there as he got into an advantage count. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. First and second, two down. Swing and a miss. Got him to go up the ladder for the K. Back here at the ballpark. And now the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. You know, these Padres just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They're chasing a lot of pitches outside the zone, and those chases that are turning into a bunch of outs, can they turn that around and stay within the zone? We'll see, but I think they have to. Nimmo makes the play. One down. Next is the, the speedy first, first baseman, down. Jake Cronenworth. Jake. He's 0 for 1. The Padres hitless so far in the game. Swing and a miss. One ball. And it's two one and two. He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but he can never predict baseball. One and two now. Line to second. Snagged on the bounce. Tossed to Alonzo. That takes care of Cronenworth. Now Juan Soto now. Juan Soto. Next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. It's a good take. Goes down looking. Bottom of the fourth, and stepping in for New York, Jeff McNeil. The second base. Rip towards third. Throw over to Cronenworth. And one gone in the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Sliced hard but foul. Couple of quick nuggets on Pete Alonzo. He graduated from the same high school as Wade Boggs. Plant High School in the Tampa area. And Alonzo also played at the University of Florida. He was teammates there with Harrison Bader. The 2-2. Two -two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Rolled over to third. Fires over to first. And that takes care of Alonso. Here's Brandon Nimmo. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one.
And a big swing and a miss. Generally, second, third time through the lineup, you want to be able to lean on those secondary pitches and command them. Looks like he's doing a nice job of it. And now it's three and two. Liner, and that should be extra bases. Now he'll turn for second. And that's a double. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Caught looking his first time up. Two outs. Swing and a foul straight back. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Machado puts it away, and the inning is over. Welcome back. Now the third baseman, Manny Machado. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. The pitch. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Machado tries to hold up. Appeal to first. Nope, he held back. 2-2 Two -two now. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Dives and he can't hang on. No throw. He's in safely and now there's a runner at first. Now here is Matt Carpenter. Grounded out his first time. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. One and two. And a pitch. And it's even up. Runner at first with no outs here. Kicks and deals. Pulls the string with the changeup. Struck him out. Next for the Padres, Nelson Cruz. Struck out swinging his first time. The pitch. And that misses off the outside edge. And a strike. And he deals. Swings and misses. Struck him out. So digging in now for San Diego, Adam Engel. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Popped up to the left. Into foul ground. Guillaume on the move. And that is that. Here in Queens, we head to the bottom of the fifth. And now the DH, Brett Beatty. The 1 1. And the slider just misses. Well, these Mets doing a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. And I'm seeing very patient at bats out of them. They haven't produced a run yet, but the pitch count for the starter is starting to climb. So they're hoping that starts to pay off soon. Smash to the left side, and it goes just foul. And I think they're in a good spot thanks to their pitching, but no one would be shocked if this offense brings something together to take the lead. It's in and out of his glove, but the throw to first gets him easily, and that's the first out. Here's the left fielder, Mark Cannon. Here comes a pitch. And right back to the mound. Tosses to first, and that quickly two away. Oh, 
Next football. pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. In the air right field. Cruz under it. Drops into the glove. And that is that. Back here at City Field. All set for the top of the sixth. And here's the catcher, Austin Nola. Two and one now. Scherzer deals. Swings through that one out in front that time. Clearly all in on the fastball right there, but it was a changeup. Bottom just fell out of it. Got him swinging. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. He popped out his first time. Top of the zone for a called strike. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Canna turns to the right on the move. Calls it in, and there's two away. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Next offering is in for a strike. I always remember watching Johan Santana pitch, and when he was in his prime, you would see a lot. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. here at the ballpark where we go bottom six here's the Mets leadoff man Starling Marte lined and that's a base hit nice line drive to the pole side right there but he didn't spin off of it that's the key you still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that and now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on Marte of the move pitches low safe at second and he easily steals the bag swing and a miss it's two and two Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. And now here's Jeff McNeil. Good contact guy, good defender. And that one moves his feet. Darvis checks on the runner. Dives back. Ow! A foul ball. Next pitch is popped up. Machado makes the grab, and that will end the inning. Top of inning number seven. Stepping in for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. The pitch. Just misses. And that's ball three. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. And that one in the air center field. He gets there to make the play. A nice running grab. One away. And now it's Juan Soto. He's a big, strong guy. Can untie this game with one swing. 1-1 one, one now. Into center. Nimmo has it sized up. He makes the catch. And there's two down. 
And now it's Manny Machado. Scoreless here, but now he's got to deal with a guy who's got some power. Got to be careful when you're talking about a hitter with this type of slug and these type of home run totals. Next one misses, and it's two and one. And that's in for a strike. That one the other way. Marte settles under it and makes the catch. That is the inning. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. And now the first baseman, Pete Alonso. And the right hander deals. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. And yeah, that's too high. And that's ball four. Well, he's starting to look a little gassed to me, and we'll see if they go to the bullpen in this spot. And here is Brandon Nimmo. One for two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Nope. And it is two and one. Way to lay off that pitch down. Strike two. The go-ahead run aboard at first. Nobody out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Tim Hill on a pitch out of the pen here. This is his third time out this year. Your attention, please. Now pitching for the Padres. Number 25, Tim Hill. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. A switch hitter batting right. Check swing. He won it. And the count's even at two. Good eye right there. Calling this count runner. Not known for his speed, but I think you got to put him in motion. Try to avoid a double play here, boo. Swing and a miss struck him out. Gassed it right by him. So up next for New York, Brett Beatty. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. What you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, that's really the money spot, down and away. If you can locate that consistently, it's going to be real tough for guys to square that up. That's what you love to see relievers do coming out of that bullpen. Whips it to first, and that is the inning. Welcome back. Stepping in, Matt Carpenter. Falling behind two and one. Check swing, no appeal. A laser to left base hit. David Robertson taking over on the mound. He's pitching on two days rest. Go ahead, run on base. Now it's the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. And here it comes. Swing and a miss as he was late. And a pitch. On the ground is short, could be two. Over to McNeil. Relay to first, double play. 
And now the center fielder, Adam Engel. You know, this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Kicks and fires. That's and the there's a ball. Three balls, one strike. Fouls one away, and now three and two. In the air, out towards left center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And that is the third out of the inning. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth, Nabil Krismet. He last pitched two days ago. So digging in, Mark Ken. And the righty deals. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Angle under it. Makes the catch one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Next offering is in for a strike. Got him swinging. It's a strikeout. Hold the string on the changeup. So up next, Starling Marte. Pitch is in for a strike at the count one and two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Here in Queens, all set to start the ninth in this one. And now Austin Nola. Here's a 1-1. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. Squeezes it, and there's one down. pitch there's a strike <laughs> off the outside edge and now the count is two and two two and two just misses there that's a really good take and misses it's a strikeout now here's Xander Bogarts now and a pitch there's a strike Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. The 2-2. Just misses with that one. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Next pitch inside, two and one. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Next offering is downstairs. 
first pitch strike from the pitcher but then no panic at all by the hitter very patient showing good discipline now he's in the driver's seat with the three one count well that could be a big walk in this ball game moves the go ahead run into scoring position so some pressure pitches coming up in this next AB Brooks really gets handed the rock out of the pen and they felt it was time to bring on a left handed reliever from the pen with the lefty hitter coming up I think it's a good move I know I never liked what opposing team did that to me Here's Juan Soto, known for his late inning heroics. The 1 1. Tied him up inside with that one. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Another one, two. Got him! And the Padres waste a chance. So the Padres with a new arm in the mound, Drew Pomerantz. And he's got a big time breaking ball to contend with. The uh, hitters are going to have to pick it up early if they're going to have any chance. Number 15. Luis Guillorme up now for the Mets. The line of the pitch. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a miss and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Jeff McNeil stands in. Wind in the pitch. And that's a little bit high. Ball two. Inside just missed. Ball tied up here in the last half of inning number nine. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. pitch hammered down the right side but foul with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here one down winning run on first Two, two now. That one 95 to finish him off. So two down now, and here is Brandon Nimmo. One for three. Nimmo. And now one and two. In the dirt, but kept close. Nice job behind the plate there. And the pitch. Swing and a miss, and that is that. On to extra innings. Here's Manny Machado to start it off. Extra innings certainly had a different feel starting in 2020 with a new rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning and that forced teams to rethink their strategy in extra frames. Yeah, much less margin for error and boo to your dismay, not much sacrifice bunting. Teams usually try for the big inning. Certainly not that much bunting for the road team as they try and play for the big inning, but for the home team, if the road team doesn't score, you'll see the home team bunt sometimes. Come back her to the mound. All tied up here in extra innings. And that one fouled off. Here's a one-two. Cuts 
it misses. It's a strikeout. And now the right fielder, Nelson Cruz. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. That one just misses. All tied up and here in extra innings. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. The wind of the pitch. And now it's filled up. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Around first and hustling for second. Nimmo quickly gets it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. So a change being made out at second. On to pinch run, Jose Azokar. Adam Engel, the next up for the Padres. Two outs. Gets a piece. And stays alive. Well, they're looking to get on the board first here after that clutch two-out double made this inning interesting. Next pitch is downstairs. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. And now the lefty. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He will score. On the board first, it's one zip. Gotta love the resiliency he showed in that at bat, battling with two strikes. I know that was a ground ball, but it was absolutely hammered through the infield. That's not one you're excited to get in front of if you're an infielder. You know they used to say, charge it. Crazy. Step off, throw to first. Angle, back easily. Angle, off of first with two away. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So coming into the game now on defense, Jose Azokar. He takes over and right. So Josh Hader gets the call to the mound. And he's been so good against lefties. Now the Number 71. Nobody out. Lindor is a chance to tie it. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. The tying run at the plate. Not the best swing that time from the first round pick. Fouls it off, still one and two. Swings and misses, struck him out. So now here's the DH, Brett Beatty. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Left-hand hitter waits. This to third, and it's just foul. That was close. The pitch. Still two and two after the foul ball. Kicks and deals. And he walked him. Exactly what they needed him to deliver there, a quality at bat. Now the pressure's on to find a way to get him home. So digging in, Mark Canna. And now two balls and a strike. Oh. 
And a good eye there. And there's ball four. Pretty much the last thing you want from your bullpen arms are free passes, especially in spots like this. Make the team earn their way off. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter. Eduardo Escobar. Big at bat for him with the tying run at scoring position. 3-2. And a swing and a miss. Two gone now. Back to the top of the lineup. And now, Starling Marte. Got to deliver as the hero. These fans, they are ready to cheer about something. Next pitch is outside. And delivers outside. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. And down on strikes he goes. The tying and go ahead runs are left aboard as this one is over. Well, this was all about the pitching and defense. Outstanding job of the pitchers, really attacking hitters, trusting what the catcher was putting down, and trusting the guy standing behind him to make the plays defensively. Sometimes you want to see a high scoring game, but sometimes you can appreciate the artistic beauty of what these guys did on the mound today. 1 0 the final. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shopee saying so long.